Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at Mordheim, City of the Damned, which is releasing on Steam for PC on November the 19th. Now, it's quite a complex game. I mean, there's a lot to do in the tutorials, um, which can take a bit of time to get through. Um, but I think I've got a basic grasp of um, what to expect from the game. Now, I've just recently completed my first mission um, after playing another mission previously and failing miserably. So this time, I think I've got a better understanding of the game mechanics and what's required of me. So basically, if you're into games like XCOM, um, Wasteland 2, then uh, you'll have a good idea of what to expect from the sort of turn-based gameplay. But I will talk you through um, what is required. So we've just beaten our first mission of the campaign. We need to now move over to the next day. You can only complete one mission on one day. So we've got a request, we've got to visit the um, smuggler's den. So, I mean, there's quite a lot of depth to this game. It's um, not a very um, accessible game to begin with. I mean, it, the basic mechanics are quite simple, but the depth comes with all of the um, intricate details that you'll discover by going through all of the menus. Um, so if you're after a kind of deep experience, then um, this definitely provides that. So I've been collecting weird stones during battle, and as you've probably could see there that that's my main source of income I've got to now potentially sell those to uh, my faction um, let's see what's going on here they're requesting a hundred I've got ten days to actually accomplish that so I think we're okay for now Uh, let me just quickly just show you. I mean, there's a shop here that you can buy extra weapons. And then we've got the character customization here. I've, I've sort of edited my character, changed her color basically. Um, she's the leader of the group, and um, I've made her in this sort of black armor, which is quite cool. I mean, I can swap through to another character and just show you how that works quickly. I mean, obviously, you can upgrade the skills, give them different weapons. So, for example, if I want to just change the torso color, I can then just cycle through those. As you can see there, different colors. But, I mean, I'm going to stick with the blue for the, for now. Um, so we'll go to the campaign again select the next mission now the missions are randomly sort of um, procedurally generated which means that you will not get the same sort of location style twice um, and if you look at the descriptions you'll have different scenarios that you'll have to battle through so let's just go to vision of dread so one warband deploys tightly around its wagon while the other is scattered randomly around the area, scared by something. Um, similar to the mission I've just completed. I think we're all ready to go. Right in and see what happens. ...spotted all over the area in small groups, as if they were scattered by something. You stage your warband near your wagon, ready to take advantage of the enemy's misfortune. So basically, I've the enemy is the one that's scattered about. My warriors are surrounding my um, sort of base, um, my idol it's called, and um, I can either sit tight and defend that area and wait for them to attack me, or I could be more progressive and venture outwards and try and um, find them and attack them. Now, as with any kind of game with this style, there's a sort of fog of war effect, which means if you don't have a direct line of sight on your enemy, you will not know where they are or what they are doing. So you've got that time to um, wait for the computer to make its turn before you can do your own moves. 
as you can see, the loading is a bit long. Um, and also another thing that I've noticed is the enemy does take a bit of time moving its um, pieces. But it's something that you will kind of get used to. And obviously there's things you can be doing whilst that takes place. Obviously, whilst it's loading, you can't do much um, other than sit and wait and ponder the moments ahead of you. But I, I would put this down to um, the fact that it's it's randomly generating the level. That's why it's taking so much time. And I think we're pretty much ready to start now. Okay, let's go. So let's deploy our troops. So here's our kind of um, wagon here. You can see with the blue flag, that's our kind of coat of arms. Let's just deploy my hero character, the leader, anywhere. I'm gonna put them all close to the starting point. Round one. So it's the enemy's turn. So I mean, we've got a pretty good defensive perimeter here now for any attacking enemy. So we've got to remember they're all scattered about and we're kind of a tight knit group. Obviously, we've got to wait our turn. Whilst it's doing that, I can show you the overhead map. There's all sorts of items of interest that I can sort of venture out and collect. These are the weird stones that I need to collect. And then there's obviously items of interest. So I can put markers down. enemy's turn. It's interesting that they got the first move. So my approach here now, you know, I could, as I said, I can venture out, I can move the character in real time now. I've only got a certain amount of spaces that I can move. Right, I can see the Skaven ahead of me coming f through that sort of narrow point there. So best approach here would be to um, set up an ambush stance. So if any enemy moves within my sort of field of view, I can then... Um, automatically attack so I'm really gonna just leave my characters here for now maybe let this one character venture outwards and I can just sort of climb up here get to advantage point which would be good if I had a sort of ranged weapon so let's just get her sort of separated less defense on this side so I'm just going to put her here round two so he's coming into our zone now go straight in for the jugular oh, a huge attack not good Dirty rat. Okay, here they come. And there's my ambush. <laughs> Able to get that first attack in. Nice dodge move. Ah, there's another one up there. So they're moving in. They're closing in on our position. So maybe it was quite wise for me to uh, not venture out too far. He's taken some fall damage there. So 
So we've got three enemies in close proximity. Dodging those attacks, not good at all. Yeah! I mean, 84% and he's still able to dodge. It's pretty poor. And I find that this is a huge problem with these types of games. The percentages really don't add up. Um, I find it happens on every single game of this type. Right, so let's move her back. I mean, she's not in a good place here. She needs to come and help her comrades. In fact, there's another enemy here sneaking around. So let's put her in ambush stance and hope that her... Don't see any enemies from this side. Just bring her back round. We all seem to be coming from the one side. Just bring her round. So I'm basically putting all my troops on a defensive turn. Okay. He's fleeing, that's pretty cool. He was outnumbered and outgunned. It's a good hit. So it's well worth putting on that ambush stance for when they move into my area. Oh, a great counter-attack there as well. Again, more ambush. But they're doing some big damage against these low-level characters that I've got here. So there's still a, another hidden enemy. Right. Let's use the Sigma's might. Hopefully boost the capabilities of my troops. Let's move in and see if I can attack this Skaven here. No actions. There you go. Oh, he's dodged it. See again, look, 84%. And he's still able to dodge that quite easily. 84%. Very m minimal damage there. Eighty-eight percent, and he dodged it. So we've had several attacks that have been in the eighty odd percent range, and they've all missed. <laughs> and he's down. So that's one down. Nice move. So I can now loot his body. Yeah, I'm going to take these items. Great hit. It's 
See, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's the roll of the dice, I guess. Fortunately, I can't get through here. It's a very low attack percentage. Oh, but it connected. Nice move. Let's go and quick click that weird stone. There's another bit here as well. Can I reach it? In time? He's come back, and he's taken the weird stone. He's running off. We need to get him quickly. Oh, he's tripped. He's stepped on a trap. So there's still uh, two enemies left. But we outnumber them quite a bit here, so we've got the advantage. Eighty-five percent. Let's try and move around. Oh, get into his ambush. Not good. Seventy-four percent attack. Not bad. Got him. Oh, counter. He's going down. Right, now this one's in need of some assistance, but I'm going to go with the attack. 88% and it missed. Not good at all. She's on the verge of uh, being extinct. down. Let's grab his loot. Right, he's got all those weird stones, so we're going to collect all those back. Yep, nice stuff. Yep, I'm just going to take all of his stuff. That's pretty cool. Must find this other opponent who's around here. It's quite a long way.
Oh, failure at climbing there. Not good. Round five. Oh! Well, we've another victory for the female team. Basically, we routed the enemy because they were being outnumbered and outgunned. We managed to get quite a bit of weird stone as well from them. So a pretty good victory. No losses either. So that was good. So two of them escaped. So I think that gives you just a basic idea of... Blessed are the triumphant, for in them shines the glory of Sigma. It gives you a basic idea of um, how the sort of game works. I mean, there's a lot more depth to it than what I've touched upon in this video. But um, obviously, if you want to go deep into looking at the stats and the skills and the items that you can get for each character, then um, that's pretty cool as well. So we're getting experience points now for surviving. Okay, she's got a light wound. So she'll be out of action for two days. So they did pretty well, my team. The Sisters of Sigmar. Some nice items as well. Dueling pistols, shurikens. Some shards, white stone cluster, some pretty good loot there. So I've got to send the entire request in one shipment. They want a hundred. We got 12 so far total weight 22 so I need to win a few more missions before I can send that shipment over to my faction obviously if I don't fulfill the needs of my faction then it's game over for me so I have to really bear that in mind okay I think that gives you a good idea of um, Mordheim City of the Damned I think uh, as I said it's available on November the 19th and um, if you're very much into your fantasy turn-based role-playing game, then um, this is definitely uh, worth checking out. I mean, let me just quickly just show you the other factions that you can um, play as. Uh, you've seen one of them, the Skaven. Yeah! So there you've got the uh, human mercenaries, <laughs> the Skaven, ha! the Sisters of Sigmar. Ah! and the cult of the possessed and they each have their own sort of separate campaign to play for okay i'm rob cram thanks for watching